Hey everybody, my name is Gavin and this is The Heathen Household. A while back we made a video called Top 5 Books to Read as a New Heathen. This week we're going to be adding on to that video by recommending the top 5 books to read as a practicing heathen. Books to read after you've gotten acquainted with the primary reading material, like the Poetic and Prose Edda, and are ready to take the next step in learning more. Book number 5. Book number 5 needs almost no introduction, but we'll give it one anyway. Tacitus's Germania is an absolute staple for academic learning amongst heathens of every sect, and that's for one very special reason. It's a contemporary work to and about the continental Germanic archheathens. Written in 98 CE by a Roman historian named Publius Cornelius Tacitus, Germania tells us about the continental Germanic tribes of Germania, their customs and laws, their social structure, and gives us information about their religion. For anybody interested in the continental Germanic archheathens, Tacitus's Germania is an absolute must-read. We encourage everyone to give it a read at least once, to explore how greatly beliefs in heathenry can vary from time to time and culture to culture. Book number four. The next work on our list comes from a man who was there to see the arch heathens in action, and that man is Ahmad ibn Fadlan, and his book is known as Ibn Fadlan in the Land of Darkness. Originally a journal of his travels written in and around 922 CE, Ibn Fadlan details for us the practices and the culture of the arch heathen peoples known as the Rus. Ibn Fadlan gives us some of the most fascinating accounts of cultural practice and perhaps one of the most famous burial rituals in any written source. And his account was so famous that it was used heavily in the 1999 movie The Thirteenth Warrior. This amazingly objective account of an arch-heathen peoples by an outsider also provides us with some of the most interesting religious rituals, showing how the arch-heathens interacted with the gods outside of the three major holy days. Book number three. Alright, so book number three isn't a book, we'll admit that, but we liked the work so much that it just had to make the list. Our so-called book number three is Yule, This Thing, and Pre-Julian Time Reckoning by Dr. Andreas Nordberg of Stockholm University. There is no better source for understanding how the Arch Heathens recorded time than this paper, which makes it an absolute necessity for anyone wanting to practice our holidays on the correct days. This paper, lamentably, is in Swedish. That being said, from page 147 on, there is an adequate summary of the work in English for all of our English-speaking viewers. Book number two. For book number two, we're going on a trip, not down a highway, but on a road to hell. Road to Hell by Hilda Ellis Davidson is one of the best academic works for understanding the arch heathen mindset in regards to death and the afterlife. This work boasts not just information about the afterlife, but also information regarding the arch heathen concept of the soul, some information about arch heathen magical practice, and a refreshingly neutral position, rather than the typical theory-pushing one that we see commonly in academic works. We highly recommend this book to any heathen looking to make sense of something as complex and sometimes contradictory as the arch heathen afterlives. Book number one. Number one is by far one of the most important texts in academia concerning arch heathenry. If you're trying to truly reconstruct arch heathenry and are interested in getting a deep appreciation of the social lives of the arch heathens, number one is an absolute must read. It is, of course, Culture of the Teutons by Wilhelm Grunbeck. This is a two-parter with both volumes constituting an absolute treasure trove of information about the arch heathen cultures. From Frith to information on the gods, this book cannot be overlooked. Gronbeck's astute comments and fascinating way with words guides the reader through a cultural journey unlike any other. And that's been our top five academic books in heathenry. What would you add to this list? If you've read some of these works, what do you think about them? Drop a comment down below and let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informational content like this. My name is Gavin. From our heathen household to yours, we're hoping you have a wonderful day and a very happy Siegerblot.